Hey guys, what's up? It's Diamante. I am back with another makeup review video because you guys really liked the first one I put out. Um, so I will be reviewing the entire Alamar Cosmetics Disney Encanto collaboration collection today. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. So I did obviously have to start um, with my Columbia soccer jersey and my normal cat ears as usual and so I will show you guys um, the box that it came with so this is the box I got this for Christmas shout out Lou it's really cute I got the entire collection as you can tell by the title of the video but the entire collection is 13 pieces so it comes with a hand mirror, two eyeliners, the palette, a highlighter, two blushes, two lip liners, and then the matching glosses with them, two complexion brushes, and two eye brushes. So I'm gonna try to use as much of this stuff as I can, just so that way I can give you guys a full extensive review. But even the box itself is really cute. This is the back of the box and it shows like all the things that it has. And then this is the front of the box, which is obviously like the house from Encanto. And then the side of the box says, El Encanto Eres Tu, which means you are the charm. I'm gonna open up the box now. So let's see what's inside. So super cute. I honestly feel like this is kind of the PR experience, which is really nice of them to do. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but the owner of Alamar Cosmetics, she's actually from Miami. So uh, shout out Gabby Trujillo. Um, honestly, like the presentation on this is really nice. And then the car just kind of um, talks about the movie. And then um, it has her name on it, like right here. It says Gabby Trujillo, which is really cool. I think she's a Hialeah girl, so. If you know, you know. Um, and if you guys see me looking down, I had a couple notes on not only um, the makeup, but the film itself. And I wanted to make sure I covered absolutely everything. I think I mentioned this, but the collection is limited edition. And just so you guys know too, Alamar Cosmetics is actually the first indie Latina brand to be able to collab with Disney Studios which honestly, congratulations, Gabby. That is such a huge honor. It's crazy because you can even go on the website and you actually see Alamar Cosmetics on the Disney website. So that's huge. Um, I just feel like this collaboration really opens the doors for more representation. And it's just a huge win for not only the Colombian community, but the Latina community as a whole. So congratulations on that. It's amazing. And again, like really cute. It comes with like the purple wrapping paper. I think you probably could have just like unwrapped the whole collection and then just used the wrapping paper for Christmas, but like Lou didn't want to open it. So <laughs> it's fine with me. So this is everything it comes with. It came really nicely bubble wrapped. So these are like all the boxes that they come with. The brushes are actually named, which is kind of cool. So it comes in this box. It's called My Best Self Duo. There's one brush in here that's called I'm Everything. And then there's another brush in here that's called I'm The Light. And I love like the reflective um, features on the box. That's really cool. And it has like little snakes on it. Um, so I do think that this is kind of like a little homage to Antonio just because he has um, like the ability to be able to speak to animals. And um, this one has the blush in it. It says Flex Alert. I'm definitely an homage to um, Luisa. And same thing on this one, really cute. It has like some reflective details on the boxes. Um, it has orchids and butterflies and a little sun on it, which I thought was really cute. Um, so yeah, this is what the box looks like. I'll also show you guys like all the components individually, but I'm a sucker for a good packaging. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that as well. So this one says Hermosa Rosa, and this is one of the blushes. And this is definitely an homage to Isabella, which fun fact, if you guys didn't know, she's actually played by Diane Guerrero. It's crazy because I feel like they kind of look like, and I know that sometimes Disney does purposely draw the characters to kind of look like the voice actors so that way they can like nail the expressions of the characters. Um, and I thought that that was really cool. This one is called I'm Blossom and then same thing. This one's definitely for Isabella uh, for sure. 
here are the, I think these are the lip glosses. So one is called Mirabella, which I think is definitely an homage to Mirabelle. And then the other one says Dimelo Cantando, which I thought is really cute. And these are what the boxes look like. And then same thing, these have like little birds on them. Um, these aren't as like reflective as the other ones, but the boxes are definitely really cute. And this one says the Power Trio eye brushes. And then this also kind of has names on it. It says be bold, be consistent, and be precise. Um, and then it kind of comes in like a yellow box as well, except I like that this one's kind of like ombre out, which is really cool. This I think has the mirror in it, so it says Madrigal Magic Mirror. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, y ese eres tu, which I thought was really cute. Same thing, it has like all those like reflective components, so it definitely has like a lot of the colors in here. Um, you can clearly see that there's an orchid on here, there's like butterflies, birds all the Colombian things. Fun fact, if you didn't know, I actually have an orchid tattoo um, and it's actually um, part of a tribute tattoo that I did to my grandparents. So um, I have a special, special connection with orchids. And then the final thing, which I think is the big thing that everybody's been talking about is the eyeshadow palette. So this is the eyeshadow palette, really cute. And then it says, just like Alomar Cosmetics itself, whose namesake comes from our founder's hometown in Cuba, our Disney Encanto eyeshadow collection palette is inspired by the magic of home. So I think that this is really cute. Um, again, I'm a sucker for good packaging, so I just had to kind of uh, highlight that as a moment. I love a good unboxing experience just as much as I love using the makeup itself. I'm gonna try to use as many of these as I can. Um, I did do a little poll over on my Instagram just to kind of see what you guys wanted to see from me. And it turns out that the colors have it. I, it's so not like me, but I'm gonna just do it because that's what you guys wanted, so that's why I'm here. If you guys want to see me do a look that's like more glam, I can I can totally go back and do another one. Um, just let me know if that's like what you guys wanna see. I'm gonna try to use as much of this stuff as possible, but I will show you guys like everything that came in the box just so you guys can see it um, and experience it for yourselves. So I'm gonna start unboxing stuff so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. First things first, I'm going to do the eyeshadow brushes. Comes like really nicely wrapped. Oh my god, I love them. So the colors are really, really cute. Like I said, it comes with three. This one says, I make this look easy and it's a packer brush and it's pink. It feels really nice and I love like the, hopefully you guys can see it, but it's kind of like gold lettering on the brushes. That's like what I was reading. And then this one is the precise lining brush. It's a really nice like teal color. And I love kind of the gradient that's going on that it goes from like pink to purple. I think that's really cute. And then this one is kind of just a lavender and then I think it says the same thing. Yeah, it says I make this look easy. And then it says be consistent blending brush. So it says like the same things that I read earlier from the box on the brushes, which is really nice. And then same thing here. So I honestly feel like this is also the kind of brushes that like you want to display on your vanity just because of how colorful they are, if that's what you're into. I kind of just think it spices things up, but that's just my opinion. So those are the three brushes. I'm gonna unbox the mirror so you guys can see it. The mirror comes like really well wrapped, which is good. And then let's open this up and see. So it is actually a really nice, teal color and I love that it opens and closes so it's the kind of mirror that you can bring with you like if you go on vacation and stuff like that and then this is the back the detail on it is really nice it's very similar to how the casita in Encanto is and I love that that butterfly theme is throughout I'm obsessed with butterflies Alamar Cosmetics actually did like four secret self-love messages on some of their products so this one has one of the secret messages here you guys are again. It says, El Encanto Eres Tu, which I already translated for you guys so you can see it, but I think that's really cute, especially like just something to have um, on the mirror that makes you feel good about yourself. I'm going to take out the palette. It has like those reflex on it, which is really nice. It does come with 10 shades. And I love that like the packaging from the boxes, like all the little cute messages that it says are also on the actual components. And then here are the colors. I'll read them to you so you guys can see what they say, but 
really cute and then same thing here you guys can see yourselves there's another self-love message right there it says home is where the magic is so i'll go from the top from left to right and then i'll do the bottom row and then i'll obviously announce the colors as i'm using them so the top row is encanto porque i can pedal to the metal rise and shine amor propio jaguar parking colombia Vine Time, Casita, and Familia first. Let's get into the look that I'm gonna do today. I'm going to start off with the brushes. Like I said, I'm gonna try to use as many of these as possible. I don't like to limit myself to how many brushes I use. That's just my personal preference. I will use them so I can give you guys a concise review, but if I use any other brushes from something aside from the collection, I'll also let you guys know. So if you guys wanna purchase them, you can. So I'm gonna start off with the Be Consistent Blending Brush. And like I said, it feels really nice to the touch, which is good. I also feel like if you're just starting off doing makeup, I'm just getting the the brush collection these and the complexion collection it's like a good basic first kit it has like all your basic things that you would need so i think i'm feeling drawn to using jaguar parking so that's what i'm going to use first let's dip into that i'm going to use the mirror for just a quick second just so that way you guys can see me use it keep putting this on to the crease area and then I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. I can say, as of right now, really good pigment. So far, so good. The color is really nice and it's really blendable, which is good. So I'm gonna go in with my color switch and then I'm gonna put in the next shade in my eyes. So I think I'm going to use Vine Time. It's like that olive green color. I actually really don't do green eyeshadow ever, but I think it'll be really cute. Um, and then I think it'll just like not look as harsh. The payoff here is really good. We love it. I, think I might actually use a different brush for this one. I'm gonna go in with my my JH35 and then same thing. It's gonna be that shade Vine Time. I just feel like because I already know what my other brushes can do. I just can't be limited to using three brushes for an eye makeup look. I'm sorry, that's my toxic trait. I love these more neutral shades. I definitely think that you can really play around with all the colors in here. The green is really cute and I'm actually really surprised by that because like I said, I don't normally do a lot of green shades, but this one actually doesn't look bad. I'm going back in with Jaguar Parking right on top. Just a little bit. So I want to know what you guys actually think about the movie, which if you guys didn't know and guess by the thumbnail or watch the movie, it takes place in Colombia. What did you guys think of the setting? I felt like it looks so much how actually Colombia looks. And if you guys didn't know, the movie actually takes place in Valle de Cocora. It actually houses the tallest palm trees in the world, which is really cool. So I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. I'm going in with the JH37 and I'm gonna use this for my outer corner. So I think I'm gonna use the shade Colombia. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the outer corner of my eyes and then we'll see how that looks. So again, really cute. I have to say, I really love the pigment. I'm gonna go in on the outer corner on this side. I'm gonna use Porque I Can and I'm gonna put that in the middle of my eye. I'm gonna try to create like a little gradient moment just so I can try to use as many shades as I can. I'm just gonna spray down my brush really quick. Let's see what happens. I might go back in with my finger afterwards. But so far, so good. Really nice payoff on the shimmer. As you guys can see, I mean, she's pretty bright. For the inside of 
like the little small section, not the tear duct. I'm gonna use the shade Rise and Shine. Same thing, really nice payoff. So this is kind of what it's looking like so far. I'm going to wet my brush again and I'm gonna use the shade Encanto. I'm actually putting that on top of the shade Colombia, but I just wanted it to sit on something dark just because I'm not sure like how much payoff is on the actual shade Encanto. So I wanted to have something to like layer it under. So let's see how that looks. Oh sweet. Yeah, so really cute. I actually think it looks really nice layered up. I think I'm gonna go back and do it with my fingers just so that way I'm, I get like the most payoff as possible. I'm going to go in with the shade Porque I Can on my finger in the middle of the eye. I do, yeah, payoff on the finger is way better. I cleaned my finger. I'm going back into the shade Encanto. So, so I'm just gonna wipe my finger again and then go in with my pinky on the inner corner of my eye. I've wiped the acro brush off a little bit. I'm going to blend them out. I'm gonna just go in with Porque I Can and then just put it right here so that way it doesn't look like so much of a line. I'm back, I concealed, I put my foundation on. I actually also have the Turn Up The Base foundation powder. I'm gonna just put this on to set my liquid foundation. This is something that I do sometimes. Um, I'm in the shade Fair 5 NG, if anybody is wondering. So something else that I got for Christmas that I wanted to test out as well. Shout out Lou, cause like, he really pops off for me. <laughs> I love that, especially when it comes to makeup and he's always like supporting me to do more makeup on my channel and I love that about him. There's a complexion brush in here, which is also why I'm trying it. It's called I'm Everything. And then it has like the snakes, it has some monstera leaves, and then it has butterflies on it. Really cute and then it feels really nice. Same thing, it has that gradient on it. So let's try this out, see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it feels really nice on the skin. Um, this is like the kind of thing that I think I'd wear like if I want to do like a no makeup makeup look, but since I had it and I had this brush to try out, I was like, I might as well just like try it. And I did read that you have to put your concealer down first before you even try this. So just side note. So really nice brush, like I said, definitely a really good Thing to have in your kit. I'm back. I did do my contour and my bronzer off camera and I did prime my lips with my Hello Kitty ColourPop Lip Scrub. It's the pineapple one. It's really good. I love it. I'm gonna do my bottom eye now. Let's go in with the Be Precise Lining Brush and I'm gonna go in with, same thing, Colombia first. And then I'm just gonna keep that really close to the waterline. I'm gonna go in with my JH39 and I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of Jaguar parking and a little bit of vine time just to buff it out on the edges on the bottom. I'm gonna pull on here. And then I'm gonna go in with Encanto on the lower lash line. Okay, so now it's time to go in with liner. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I'm a little nervous because they're very bright. <laughs> so this one is called Lilac Sin Limites and then this one is called em Emerald Eterno. Um, I love how like the little reflexes show which eyeliner it is really cute so as you can see I'm stuck between purple and green I really want to do purple because I feel like purple would 
be like a dope color to do but i don't want to mess up my makeup look so i think i'm probably gravitating more towards the green in all honesty so the green got a really nice fine tip brush i just don't feel like it's gonna show and it's got like a really cool glitter guys i might have to venture out and do the purple Rip. I don't know we'll see well I'll make it work <laughs> either way and then this is the purple okay so these are the two swatches as you guys can see I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera and I'll come right back hopefully you guys can see the liner but she's kind of cute I like her I definitely probably should have gone for the purple but I have to say these were pretty easy to work with which was good I usually am not a liner gal anymore just because I always wear extensions. I think I'm gonna go in with the highlight. So this is the highlight, it's Flex Alert. Um, like I said, this one's the, the little tribute to Louisa. I'm gonna use this on my brow bone just a little bit. It's stamped and it has like a little, it looks like almost like a sun on it. You can definitely also, just because it's so pinky, you can probably use this as like a, a blush topper as well if that's your vibe. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go in with the shade Casita on top of that blush shade in the inner corner. I'm just gonna put it like right on top. Just because I feel like it wasn't giving what I needed it to give. <laughs> now I'm gonna use the highlight for what it's actually supposed to be used for. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the second complexion brush. This is the I'm the Light highlight brush, and I love the way it feels in my hand, which is always a good sign for me. So hopefully she does the trick. Yeah, so definitely a cute moment. Not too glittery, which is nice. Especially because I have like such a blinged out look already. It would look even cuter if I was tan. Okay, I am the annoying person that likes highlight on my nose and a little bit on the bridge of the nose. I just don't feel like I can highlight my cupid's bow well with this, but just because the brush is a little bit thicker than I normally work with. Finally back, I have at least opened these so we can see what they look like. So the first one is I'm Blossom, and it's got the orchid on the component, which is really cute. This one is kind of like that pinky blush. It kind of like leans on like fuchsia, I would say. And the mirror says, soy unica, which means I'm unique. And then I love that it has like the little butterflies stamped inside, which is really cute. The second one is called Hermosa Rosa, and it also has a little flower on it. And then this one on the inside says Yo Creo En Mi, which means I believe in myself in Spanish. And then same thing here, it's got the little butterfly on the inside. I love that this one's kind of like a, a pinky orange. I think that this is the one that I'm actually going to use today. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my JH07, and I'm going to put this on. Really nice color. Now the final two things that we're going to unbox is gonna be the lip gloss and the lip liners. Now I feel like these will probably be the same formula as the normal Alamar Cosmetics lip glosses, which I do have a shade that I love from them, which is called Birthday Suit. I love their lip gloss and nudes so much so i'm looking forward to these these are normally colors that i wouldn't really do either so these will be nice to have in the collection so i'll open these really quick so the first one is called mira beja i guess that this one is after maribel but i'm also thinking that this is kind of like the the cali pachanguero song so it can kind of be a play on both so here's the component really cute same thing it's got like all those like snakes and monstera leaves and butterflies in there and i'll swatch them all because i'm obviously not going to be able to wear them all on this one is called dimelo cantando and this one's kind of like a mauve pink and it has like glitter in it 
they both actually have glitter in them. These are the lip liners and then same shade names as before. So this is what the component looks like. This one still has like even like little details on the on the lip liners. They're not as pronounced. Same thing. So I'll swatch the lip liners first so we can see what those look like. So this one is Mira Bella. So it's kind of like a red and then this one is the Dimelo Cantando shade. Okay, here she is. They're both really cute shades, I would say. Um, so this is the Dime Lo Cantando one, and then the red one is the Mira Bella one. And then I'll do the little lip glosses below. Mira Bella one, and then the Dime Lo Cantando. Here they are, and I guess like how you're supposed to pair them. I love the Dimelo Cantando one. I usually don't wear red, but now that I have this in my collection, I might be inclined to wear it more. So I think I'm going to actually use the Dimelo Cantando one just because it's a little bit more toned down. Because this look is already really colorful. <laughs> and then the formula on these feel really smooth, which is good in a lip liner. At least that's what I like. Lip gloss. this is kind of what it looks like all right so i am going to do my hair really quick and change my outfit and then i'll come back so i can give you guys my final thoughts okay so i'm back as you can see hair is a little bit better and i changed my shirt just so i can do the final review so you guys want to know what i think i totally think that this collection is worth it i think you also get a discount on the bundle which is really nice i totally recommend getting it not only did it do the movie good but it also did the culture good as somebody who lives in colombia for months at a time i can tell you that a lot of how the girls do their makeup there is very colorful it's very vibrant even the packaging kind of gave me this igual vibes which i thought was really cool and i thought that they just did a great job with incorporating so many different themes in the movie into the look that is what i think everything that i tried was pretty good the brushes were good the palette was good the highlighter was good the lip liner the glosses they all performed really well which was to be expected just because i have ordered a couple of other things from all our cosmetics before and like i said just so many different themes in the movie that were reflected really well that being said definitely go and see the movie too it pays homage to the colombian culture and it's pretty spot on just so many different things that i saw in the movie that were so true to the culture like even the way colombians and i mean let Latinos in general all look very different. I thought that that was really cool to see somebody that finally looks like me in a Disney movie. The food, which arepas. I think they also had, I'm trying to think of what it, what else they had. They had huevos perico. I think I had seen ajiaco there too. Empanadas, which was really cool. Even the songs, like I heard cumbia in there. There was vaginato in there. There was salsa in there, which is really cool. Yeah, overall, a really great movie to see. I loved how um, scene I felt for the first time which was really really cool with that being said this is definitely a must purchase I know that these are limited edition I do know that they just restocked it so definitely go and get your hands on it congratulations to Gabby and the Alamar team you guys like really hit this one out of the ballpark really amazing job I can't wait to see what else Disney has in store for you guys because I'm sure that this isn't the only thing that you guys will be doing and yeah go see the movie I think it's still out in theaters but if it's not you can watch it on Disney plus and yeah please make sure you guys like comment and subscribe on my video it really helps me out a ton and it's free and then you guys can push the little notification button if you guys want to see when I post thank you guys so much I will see you guys in the next one okay bye Oh, oh. Oh, don't that inch.